just zero to 100. Three, two, one, punch it. Hey guys, I'm Allison. And I'm Casey. And we're from Edmonds. And today we're putting five EV newbies behind the wheel of a Tesla Model Y. The Model Y is the best-selling EV in the country. So through the eyes of these EV first-timers, we're gonna show you what it might be like to make the switch to a Tesla. Should we do it? Let's do it. All right. Today, we have an eclectic mix of five first-time EV drivers. The intersection of these folks include an off-road enthusiast. To be able to get off-road and experience the wilderness, it's a lot of fun. Self-professed mom chauffeur. I'm in my car always for my kids. <laughs> a salesperson who practically lives in her car. I generally spend at least two hours a day driving. An EV curious lover of luxury. I would love to not have to go to the gas pump anymore. And one sports car purist. I don't expect to fall in love with the EV vehicle that I'm driving today, but I'm excited to find out. We are at Willow Springs Raceway. This is your first time driving an EV, it's correct? My first time driving one. All right, are you excited? I am very excited. <laughs> it's exciting. The one experience I had in that car got motion sickness. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Well, let's go like... get motion sickness again, huh? <laughs> so on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you? I would say five. You're breaking my heart, Eric. You're breaking my heart. Now, in order to experience all this today, you're gonna have to get inside. Yes. So, I'm going to give you the key. Okay. Which looks like this. Okay. How do you think you use it? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. So that's a new age key from the future. Are you serious? Where do I stick it in? Do you have any ideas? <laughs> All right, I'll give you a no. hint. Look on, the, look on the back of the card. It's like an Ikea direction. Yeah, it really is. So it doesn't have a button. So what if somebody is chasing after me? That's a great I question. I need to run to get to my car. I gotta go like this. Next episode, we're gonna talk about when you're running away from demons. Uh, look at that. Look at that, you did it, okay. How do you think you open the door? Do I press this? Yes, Okay. all right. <laughs> yep, you're on the right path, yep. Just grab this side. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's I, see if you can open the door. I do know this. Okay, cool, perfect. So you cheated. I might have rid ridden an Uber or two. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'd like us to sit in the car and then just give me immediately your first thoughts on what you feel when you sit down. Okay. Okay? Seat belts? Yes. Oh, the seatbelts are regular seatbelts. So <laughs> that I know true. how to work this. It's weird. It, it's like almost like I don't really feel like I'm in a car. <laughs> like a, I'm like in a spaceship. Sparse. Sparse is definitely a term that I will 100% agree with. I don't see the start button. That's already a little um, disconcerting. On a scale of one to 10, how's your anxiety level right now? Um, it's rising, so. <laughs> Let's adjust your side mirrors. Okay. <laughs> that gonna even help me. Uh, I'm gonna poke around here. Any idea about where you might find I those? I would have no idea. I would just start pushing buttons until I found it. See that little car icon? Oh, okay. Yep, perfect. There we go. There's a lot of things going on here. There are a lot of things. Mirrors. Yep, perfect. Oh. Yes. You wanna manipulate this. Hmm. You're not a huge fan. No. Yeah. Like if I'm on the freeway, and I need to adjust my mirrors for whatever yes. reason, and I have to go through all that. Yes. Why don't you go ahead and go into the AC menu really quick and adjust the air vents. <laughs> That's what I a minute. Like that, touch that. Oh, oh what the heck? You're a natural. Uh, and also you can actually take two fingers and pinch to change like the diffusion oh, or the direction of the air. What the heck? So that's pretty cool, right? That's crazy. This is actually really cool. It's a kind of a fun party yeah. trick here. Okay. This thing that looks like a ghost. <laughs> you just do that and you're literally moving the vents and you can go right and left. This is your seat right there yeah. and then this is your steering wheel. The steering wheel is, that's a nice feature. That is nice. <laughs> it's like you're already a pro in here. This is the first time you've done this, right? Yeah. Do you find it like pretty intuitive to use? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now that I just start pressing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna call it a challenge. Do you see those blue flags in front of us? Mm -hmm, mm hmm Okay, so basically from here, I want you to accelerate like you are aggressively merging onto a freeway. So first thing we gotta do is we have to turn the car on. Okay. And I want you to see if you can figure out how to turn the car on. Um, let's go ahead and try. All right, it's telling me to do something. Okay, so I have to tap the key card 
and press brake to drive. Where do I tap this thing? Look at that cute little animation. You literally have to put it there. So how do I go and drive? Yeah. Your shifter is on the side. Oh, I press my foot on the brake. Yes, ma'am. And then go down, right? Yep. Boom. Oh, now you're in business. Okay, okay. Now you're in business. We're at a racetrack. Oh. I want you to race to those blue flags. The name of the game is Don't Scare the Host. <laughs> no, it. Fair enough. Okay. Just zero to 100 when it comes to throttle. All right. So three, two, one, punch it. Ooh, it actually is a little zippy. Jeez. I don't like that feeling. Ooh, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> Got me for a second. Three, two, one, go. That was fun. I mean, it, ta it takes off. It definitely sped up quickly. It reminds me of the Incredicoaster at Disneyland. How psh. I feel car sick. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I won't throw up. Though. I won't throw up in the car. <laughs> I promise. Please I don't. Won't. Can you hear me right now? Uh, yes. And it's really quiet in here. It's, it's quiet. Like I don't know that I'm necessarily in a car right now. Oh, yes, okay, I see what you're saying. I thought you were in regards to like recording or something. What I was expecting in that moment was letting go of the acceleration, the car would react and see, oh, where's the screen? So this is... You know, this is a little bit of a blooper, but the screen is now disappeared. And there goes my odometer and my controls and... It's so funny that this happened with you because you've been talking about this, that you don't feel like you're in control. And look what happened, the screen's now dead. There's a trust issue you're having with the Tesla. Yeah. What's unique to EVs that gas cars do not have is what's called one pedal driving. You don't have to use the brake. You can simply not press down as heavily on the accelerator and your car will actually stop by yeah. itself. It's actually using the inertia of the car moving forward, putting juice back into the batteries. Oh. So what I want you to try to do is to just by lifting your foot off the accelerator and not by pressing the brake, to try to stop at each set of cones. Okay. What do you think about that? I think it would be an adjustment. Okay, when I let off, it just go like... Lift your foot off the accelerator, okay. yep. Oh, see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't even have to brake. No. I want to trust that it's going to do it faster than I think it's going to. You're absolutely correct. That's oh, perfect. Pretty close. Where can you see that being convenient? Definitely stop and go traffic. Yep. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, there's a lot less back and forth and back and forth with your foot. Even lifting up my foot just a little, the car is stopping. It's definitely touchier and jerkier a little bit. You get used to it, I'm sure. Yeah, that regenerative braking is a whole different ballgame. Isn't that wild? Tesla does not like to play in the sandbox well with other third-party apps at times. How much do you love Android Auto? I think it's the best thing to happen to infotainment. Well, that's perfect, because this doesn't have it. So there's no CarPlay, there's no um, anything oh. like that. This doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. What? Are you kidding me? My joke is you are left to your own devices. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it also has a voice assistant, like Siri or Alexa or Google. Yeah, that's interesting, because I do use a lot of that when I do drive. Okay, what's your kid's favorite uh, destination? Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> so you can press that button again and ask it to take you there. Take me to Cheesecake Factory. There you go. Oh, wow. And now you're going to Cheesecake Factory for some amazing <laughs> cheesecake. Make it 68 degrees. There we go. Okay, okay. That's the magic. Play the Beatles. All right. So that's a very user-friendly experience from one button. So the next part of EV ownership, Danielle, is charging the car. So we have set up our own little makeshift supercharger, and I want you to experience what it's like to pull up and charge your vehicle. Here's our awesome supercharger network you pulled up to. I want you to go ahead and put the plug into the port. It's like the guns they used in Men in Black. <laughs> Amazing. Boom. That's and it? You did ah. it. Oh, cool. It's gonna take you at home. This is an overnight type of charging situation yeah. between eight and 10 hours for your full 100%.
And then you've got that 317 range that you can use for the whole week. Okay. Do you have access to charging at your house or your home? Mm -mm, I don't have any access. Okay, so then what that means for you is you have to go to an actual supercharging station. Would it be a deal breaker if you had to spend an hour a week charging your car? No, I don't think if it's just an hour, there's so many places by where I live. It's right by a movie theater, it's right by restaurants, and I think it should be fine. It's inconvenient. <laughs> You're not a fan. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, that would definitely be something I'd have to, to kind of weigh. If you were to make a list, that would be something that would almost strike as a negative compared to, you know, the, the five minute stop at a gas station. I have one last trivia question for you. Okay. If you were to open the glove box, how would you do oh, that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a button? A button, Kara. What are you driving what right am I now? Thinking. Well, I don't know if there's a glove box. First of all, <laughs> that is true. You can't assume anything in this car. <laughs> are there any surprises in the glove box that I should know about? No. Open glove box. Oh. Kara. Ah. You have one. You no got way. <laughs> Go ahead and grab it and show the people. Show the people. You have one. A, a Tesla. Tesla. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it just happens to be a very, a very small, small one. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for participating. You. Thank You're you. You're awesome. So these EV first timers finally got to experience a Tesla. The real question is, will they buy one? An EV could work for me if it didn't have the regenerative braking and if it had some luxury to it and I was able to have a charging station at home. But the Model Y, yeah, it's not for me at all. I would be more inclined to accept what charging is all about if I was able to charge at home. However, I like the fast and go pace of gas pumps. I am now considering buying an EV. I wouldn't say that I would definitely buy an EV. I actually have changed my mind. <laughs> I could imagine the look on other people's faces when you know, you're know you going down an off-road trail in a Model Y. The vehicle absolutely has the capability. It would just be the additional planning to make sure you can get there and back. Absolutely, I'm definitely considering it. And I have no doubt that one day I will have an EV. I think they're gonna be in all of our features, whether you like it or not. After a day with a wide gamut of drivers, it turns out we learned a lot. Yeah, we sure did. Like EVs, they might not be for everyone. Oh, oh, dang it. What? I don't like that. It just stopped automatically when I was about to slow down. Yeah. Regenerative braking. I don't like this at all. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. But Eric, our car enthusiast, liked the one pedal driving and he could see a good use case for it in the future. You're a one pedal driving champion. That was pretty cool. The thing is, a lot of our drivers found that if they didn't have charging overnight, that would be a deal breaker for them. However, on the other side, they really did love the quiet ride that the Model Y gave them. And really, that's only the type of quiet you can get with an EV. But Eric didn't like the quiet ride because he likes loud noises. He wants the exhaust, the turbo. I want to know that I'm driving fast. I want to hear it. The only thing I can say for sure is if you're thinking about buying an EV, you just need to spend a lot of time behind the wheel before you make that decision. Right, because it's not like you're just hopping into a new automobile. It's more of a change of lifestyle. It really is. What do you think about buying an EV? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, feel free to show us some love by liking and subscribing.